Welcome to the Squash Variety Hour. I'm Tinika Everard. And I'm Paul Regala, and we're about to bring you a squash show like you've never seen before. Let's face it, you've probably never seen a squash show before, but we're not talking about all the technical stuff. You already know about rackets and strings and the colour of dots on balls. We're talking about all the fun stuff to do with your favourite sport. That's right. It's going to be purely entertainment here. We've got music, comedy, guests and a whole lot of squash. And it's going to be amazingly interactive. So you can Skype us, email us, get on the Facebook and the Twitter. And we are looking forward to hearing from you to talk about the world's fastest racket sport. Time for us to get out on court. We're here with husband and wife duo Danny and James who are SA Development Officers just back from the US coaching. Welcome guys. Hey, how are you? Thanks a lot for joining us. Now we don't have a great deal of time on the show uh, but we do want to chat. So you up for a challenge? Yeah sure. Yeah. Alright what we'll do, winner take all in that whoever wins the point that you guys are about to play gets to answer on behalf of both of you. Sound fair? Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. Alright we'll leave you guys with it then. Good luck. Cool. All right, thanks. Danny is disappointed. <laughs> How do you feel about that loss? Oh, I forgot you can't actually talk. I'm sorry about that. Come on over here. How do you feel about that win, James? Uh, it's good to get a win in against your wife every now and then. Sing. And, and the not talking thing suits me fine too, because normally that's me in the doghouse. So. I reckon that belongs to you, but uh, you can't thank me. <laughs> Speaking of arguments, does Squash ever cause arguments with you guys? Um, yeah, quite often. Um, but I think we just settled one now, so that's good. Um, the first time we played, uh, we were both 10 years old, I just started playing, Danny had been playing for longer and she beat me the first time, so I was just being a gentleman. Um, <laughs> but yeah, ever since then, every time I do something wrong, it always refers back to that, which starts with another argument, so it's good to have it finally settled here on camera. So do you ever find times when squash can solve arguments, so if you're having an argument at home, you can say, I'll meet you on the court and bang, you solve it? Um, yeah, we do that every night, oh, no, good. you can't, just can't get away from squash, you know. Yeah. Here at the Squash Variety Hour, we want you to get interactive with us. So send us in your funniest clips, whether it's you and a mate hitting the ball in the backyard and getting an injury, or a beauty like this one with Remy Gayard. We want to see it. One place squash players are very comfortable is, of course, inside a squash court. So. We're going to take the opportunity now to chat to Ben Wershon as he hits up ahead of the Nationals, just warming up for them right now. And Ben has been kind enough to give us just a little bit of his time. And Tinica joins us here to chat to Ben. Mate, the goggles, are they going to give me any kind of protection from your hitting? Um, yeah, well, if I was to hit you with the ball, they would. But, yeah. What about the bandana? You said that would give me some kind of protection. Is that going to give me any protection? Oh, no, I may have been lying to you. It may be only to serve the purpose of my entertainment. OK. That's pretty trendy. Now we're going to need to put, ooh, put down the racket, have a bit of a chat to us. Tell us, what are you training for at the moment? At the moment, um, I'm training because I'm leaving for Alice Springs middle of next week. Mm -hmm. That's for the Australian Junior Championships, which is pretty much the, probably the biggest tournament as a junior on the calendar. So Can you show us a scar yeah, and yeah, tell us about the scar? scar. That's the, that's the scar. It's actually faded quite a lot. It's, yeah, it's actually gone away. Um, how I got it, I was having a rally on the backhand wall, just rallying, and next thing, before I knew it, there was a car through the side wall and it hit me. Yeah? Actually, no, it never oh. happened. Uh, it was I, when I, you were playing the squash with the spikes on the ball, right? Yeah, no, when I saved that, that orphan from the squash, tragic <laughs> squash accident. Uh, any chance of some sponsorship for it? Oh, I anyone? was thinking of, because uh, I, I do show it, quite a few people. Yeah. It's a party it's, trick. It's quite impressive, I think. <laughs> um, I was thinking about putting, you know, Technofiber on it, because they're, yeah. they're my main racket sponsors. <laughs> Kitching. Paul loves his 80s squash ensemble. Do you have one at home? Send in your photos for your chance to win a Wii console and Ubisoft squash game. So if you have no shame and want a game, email producer at australialivetv.com to be in the running.
Well, that's just a taste of the Squash Variety Hour on AustraliaLiveTV.com. We're going to be back each and every week covering all the news and views and anything at all to do from the world of squash from right around the globe. As well as lots of prizes and giveaways. Until we see you next time, hope you enjoy your ball-to-wall -wall action.